This is probably the most magnificent white oak that I've seen. And it's about 350 years old is what we estimate. It's over five feet wide and 13 and a half feet in circumference. And it hosts a variety of birds and insects that live in this canopy of this tree. It dates back to 1670, so 100 years before the United States was founded, this tree was an acorn. And to think about the, all the things that have happened during the lifetime of this tree, and it's still very healthy and gonna outlive us all. So we're in West Chicago, and much of this whole area was covered with oak and hickory forest, and slowly that's been eroded and cut away, and housing complexes have gone in, and big box stores. Only when you look at the aerial photographs can you see how far and extensive this oak woodlands was. And it's sad that there's very little of it left. This one has been maintained very well, and it's a beautiful tree. We're trying to encourage people to plant more oaks and to care for the ones that they have. And that education about why some trees are better for the environment than others. That's a pretty deep thought to say one tree is better than another. But if you've read any of Doug Tallamy's work, he lists the trees by species, which one has more environmental benefit. And oak trees are number one in Illinois. And hickory is right there behind it. So they've got both on this property. We try to bring that to people, how important this is, how many birds and squirrels and uh, other critters live around an oak tree. So it's an ecosystem in itself. And that's not well understood. The more we plant them, they're not for our generation, they'd be for the next generation. And it's very important that we keep planting oaks. <laughs>